Have you ever heard about the Black Jacobites? Or the Black Scottish colonists who settled in America before the Revolution? Have you been taught about the free Black people who lived in England and even held high positions in the government? Probably not. And that's because history is often written by the victors, who tend to erase or ignore the stories of those who don't fit into their narrative. But today, we're going to shed some light on the hidden history of Black people in colonial America and the Revolutionary War. We'll start with the black Scottish colonists who settled in Cross Creek, North Carolina. They brought with them the strong convictions of the Covenanters, but also their loyalty to the crown. So when the American Revolution broke out, some of them followed Donald MacDonald, a black Jacobite who called upon his countrymen to remember their oath of allegiance to the British king. But who were the black Jacobites? Well, they were a group of Scottish rebels who fought for the exiled Stuart dynasty in the 1715 and 1745 uprisings. After their defeat, many of them were deported to the British colonies in America, where they joined the ranks of the black Scottish colonists and other free blacks who lived there. And here's where things get interesting. The ship manifests of the time reveal that many of these black colonists and Jacobites were described as having dark or swarthy complexions. Some were even called black, like William Ross, Duncan Campbell, and John Cunningham. But what's even more remarkable is that some of them fought in the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War. That's right, black soldiers fought for America's independence alongside white soldiers, despite the fact that they were often discriminated against and faced slavery or indentured servitude if they were captured by the British. Some of these black soldiers were even commissioned as officers, like James Armistead Lafayette, who served as a spy for the Marquis de Lafayette, or Salem Poor, who fought bravely at the Battle of Bunker Hill. But how come we don't learn about these black heroes in school or in popular culture? Well, that's a complicated question with a lot of different answers. It's partly because of the racism and prejudice that pervaded American society and its historical accounts. It's partly because of the political interests that shaped the way history was written and taught. And it's partly because of the lack of resources, voices, and platforms that could amplify these marginalized stories. But it's never too late to learn, to unlearn, and to relearn. To honor the legacy of those who were erased or ignored, and to create a more inclusive and accurate history that reflects the diversity and complexity of human experience. So the next time you hear about the Revolutionary War or Colonial America, remember that there were black people there too fighting for their own dreams of freedom and dignity. Thank you for watching, and please like and share this video with others who may be interested in learning more about this hidden history.